Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading. This reading is going to be from November the 15th, uh, excuse me, November the 1st through the 15th. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, rising uh, for further clarity on the situation. We have the Emperor. And actually as I, as I was meditating on your energies, Virgo, I was actually seeing the King of Pentacles. So I believe at this time you are actually working on um, your ambitions at the moment. You are hard working following that dollar bill. I feel like you are in control of your situation and your stability. And with the Emperor in your in your overall energy, I feel like you are in control. What's crossing you is the Three of Swords. So I feel like after some disappointments, you are actually coming into your own. You are finding clarity in your situation. Um, I feel like people people look to you for advice. People look to you for guidance. I kind of see you speaking with a lot of people at the moment. I feel like there's a lot of people surrounding you. Yeah, in the near future, and excuse me, in the near past, you have the Seven of Wands. So I kind of feel like in the near past, you had to defend yourself from the situation. Um, and you, what's your crowning energy is the Magician. And you also have the Three of Wands at your foundation. And the Ace of Pentacles. The Will of Fortune. And the Death card. Okay. You also have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And overall outcome of the situation, you have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay. As I said, I feel like in the near past you were you had to defend yourself. Uh, you had to set boundaries. You had to stand up for something. Um, and um, your foundations, that kind of left you kind of feeling like you weren't moving, kind of feeling like you were in this stuck energy, uh, but you do have the magician crowning you. So I feel like you are um, putting your focus back into your creative actions. You are trying to bring something into reality for you. So there's, there's something that you're really thinking about that you really want to bring into this world, uh, something that's in your dreams, something that's in um, in your thoughts, you want to bring into reality. And I feel like in the in the near future, um, you will I, I feel like it's a new beginning. But it's a delayed new beginning. I feel like it's something that that's going to take some time 
in order to come into fruition. Um, and you also have yourself as the will of fortune in reverse. So I feel like this is this is something that's going to take a lot more time. It's not going to come fly by night. This is something that you're going to have to put put the work in in order to to bring it about. And I feel like you kind of see this as a new beginning but and I, I feel like this is actually a fresh start for you but it's actually going to take time this is something that's not going to happen overnight and i see that as well with the two of pentacles in reverse this is something that's going to be delayed uh, but it is coming i see that that you are moving towards something new in your life um you also have the knight of pentacles in reverse so i feel like you are this action um after a time of delay is actually going to come in you have okay let me show you you have the knight of pentacles in reverse and then you have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So th this is something, after the delay, you're going to kind of feel the disappointment of it. Um, with the Three of Swords, you're going to feel disappointed at the moment. But it is coming. It is coming. I feel like you kind of relinquished your power. Like you... Uh, are letting the universe maybe there was some resistance and you were kind of doubting your abilities but the universe is letting you know you got this you got this it's coming it may not come when you want it to come but it is coming and when it does start moving it's going to move more swiftly i feel like it's going to come in more more fast and more abundantly once it does start coming in this may be something that you're working on. This may be something that has to do with your income, um, with your business. It may be starting slow. It may be slowly moving forward and you feel like it can be moving faster for you. Um, and it will move faster for you, but you just have to have patience. Yeah, this is definitely a new beginning for you. And I feel like you need to take the risk. You need to view all of your possibilities in the situation um because you have you have infinite possibilities you have the fool and the magician in this reading so I, I feel like your possibilities are infinite you have all the abilities that you need to succeed you have everything that you need to succeed to to gain clarity in this situation just one moment, I have some cards that fell. Okay, the cards that fell to get clarity on the situation is the Six of Wands. So you will be victorious in this situation. You have the Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like you need to be, be careful of sneaky energy around you. Someone trying to talk about the situation. Someone trying to talk ill of you. Um, you have the five of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you are coming out of a feeling of being left out. And you have the queen of swords. So I, I feel like this situation, you're, you're going to, the truth is going to come out in this situation. You are going to receive all the clarity and support that you need. Um, I feel like you are becoming more self-sufficient. You're coming out of lack and disarray, and you're coming into um, a more prosperous time. There's 
a more prosperous time ahead of you, I believe. Yeah, and you also have the lovers. If this is a love situation, you have gotten all the clarity that you need out of this. This, this could also be choices. This could also be a partnership. Give me some clarity on this death card, please. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I believe that this is a new start, a new beginning. You're mastering your skills. You are putting a lot of work in this situation. If this is love, you feel like you're building something new. Um, if this is work-related, you are actually dominating your force is what I'm hearing. You're actually dominating. Oh, wow. card just went off. You have the the three of wands in reverse, and you also have the eight of cups again. So you are definitely walking into your fulfillment. You're definitely walking into your destiny. Um, this is definitely a new beginning. Uh, but as I said, it's slow moving. There's delays. And this could also bring in new money. So I'm really feeling that strongly for you. And you also have the king of wands on the bottom. So with the king of wands, you are asserting yourself in this situation. You are taking the lead. You are coming into your power. And oh, that's very beautiful for you, Virgo. Give me some more information on this delay. What... Can you tell me about the delays that are going through? What is this information? The Five of Swords. Yeah, so you, you may have a lot of competition at the moment. Maybe um, <clears throat> if, if this is work, there's other people working on the same kind of situation as you are. Um, but I feel like with the Five of Swords, you're actually leaving these people behind. You're coming into new ideas. You are kind of taking the reins. You are working at things that um, they haven't thought of. If this is love, this could be just conflicts that you're going through. You're actually bickering. Um, but I feel like you have the stronger hand in this situation. Uh, you also have the King of Wands the King of Swords in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like some of the situation is going to leave a lot of sleepless nights. Um, but you are definitely asserting yourself. You are definitely coming into your power. Um, I feel like this King of Swords energy, this could be you or this could be someone else trying to uh, throw a monkey wrench in your situation. And that kind of leaves you doubting and um, kind of refocusing your abilities. Um, but you do have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like this situation is going to come full circle, and it's actually going to leave you in a better position than what you were currently in. Okay, let's get some answers angels let's see what they have to say about the situation let's get some clarifying oracle cards if this message is resonating with you please like and subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads great and full yeah definitely this is actually going to make you feel more fulfilled in your situation and that is card number four. The number four may be very relevant for you at this time. Or maybe um, take notice of the number four. If you see fours um, around you more, this could be something that's very, that, that it, it, it may be a message intended exactly for you. Yeah, you also have it is what it is and the time machine. So this is your destiny unfolding. This is something new and something bright. 
you also have opening to discovery. And a lot of the other signs have gotten this card as well, opening to discovery. So I think a lot of new doors are opening for the signs in the collective. Um, but yeah, you're going to have new doors that are opening for you. You also have number three, number six, and number four. So those, those numbers may be very um, important for you at this time. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say. Get a message from our angels. Okay, you have Celeste. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Yeah, those may be the new doors that are opening. That may be the new uh, destiny unfolding for you. You may be moving to a new location. You may be moving to a new employment. You may be moving to a new employment that requires you to move. You also have Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to you, your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Yeah, so I think that's letting you know to come closer to spirit. Um, to, to really take focus and focus on your abilities. Go within and ask spirit for advice on your situation. I think spirit will be very... Um, nurturing in your situation now this is the very first time i've gotten this card and i've had this card for quite a while you have desiree no conditions aren't favorable right now wait and look into the other options and ask the angels for help guide and comfort for you yeah that's the very first time i got that card wow okay so yeah it, like i said i was saying that in this you should ask your angels ask your spirit spirit guides for for guidance in your situation they're 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 there to guide you and i think spirit is just reiterating that 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 they are there for you and at the bottom of the deck you have akasha uh, you're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life missions. Yeah, so I was feeling that for you. I was feeling like there were there were a lot of people around you, like you give good advice, like people come to you when they have um, any situation that, that they need advice on. I kind of feel that for you, that you're surrounded by people wanting to hear what you have to say okay virgo that is your reading and like i said if this reading resonates with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity and as always virgo many blessings to you love and light